It is surprising that for the Kennedy campus how poorly they did in the delegate selection meetings in the province of Quebec, just 1% of the delegates there. Uh, what does that say about the Kennedy campaign? Well, I think what you saw is, is a great result for, uh, for Gerard Kennedy uh, across the country. In fact, if you take a look at the, the popular vote, we were a very clear second, uh, and a very clear second in the delegate count outside of Quebec. Uh, the, the reality is there was an established network in Quebec that, uh, that was, it was difficult to penetrate, particularly late on. Uh, but we really feel we have a tremendous opportunity for growth there. And, you know, Carolyn was referencing uh, 1996. Uh, I remember that very well. And I think we've learned a lot since then. Uh, and that it's, it's very tough when you're in a front-runner position to be able to win. Uh, that uh, we'd much rather be in the position that we are right now, similar to where Dalton McGinty was in that process, uh, where, we can, where we can be back, talk about our ideas, and grow from, uh, from a position. Uh, that we are where we have a tremendously strong team that has delivered uh, amazing results for us all over the country to be first or close to it in Ontario first uh, in, in Alberta and, uh, uh, and to have done as well as we did I think now we've got a great message to take to Quebecers and show that we are the candidate uh, for renewal and that Gerard Kennedy is the right candidate for that. We think that what we need to do is to be able to define contrast and to say um, take a look at the policies that we have. I think foreign policy is going to be one weakness for us during Nadia. Uh, I think that uh, we are policy was with respect to Afghanistan and with respect to Canada's role in the world, uh, certainly sets us apart. And uh, I think actually foreign policy and uh, Canada's role in the world is going to play a huge role in the next election. So I think that's one contrast point. I think as well that um, Gerard is somebody who isn't as well known. Uh, there's people are still learning about him. They were surprised by the result. They're going to be interested. And that's a great uh, catalyst for growth for us as well. So uh, I think there, there are some issues of contrast, but I think Gerard is the one candidate who people are still fully yet to know and yet is in this race fully and has a lot of opportunity to grow. Do you more about him? I think so. Absolutely. I think that there wasn't a lot of feeling in Quebec that he was in the top tier of candidates. I mean, there was a lot of press reports saying that we were down at 8% or something. We've essentially doubled those expectations. And I think now Quebecers are going to want to say, okay, well, let's take a look at who Gerard Kennedy is and what he offers and what's that proposition and what is he really talking about when he says he wants to renew the party. Well, I think I think the question that has got to be who can best renew this party, and I think that's going to be the ballot question. And, you know, when I think of Gerard Kennedy, here's somebody who started uh, Canada's first Do you think that's day. still the question? I think it is. Think I think it is, and I think no. the people look at... I mean, I know Gerard be, Kennedy wants that. that no, I'll, 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 tell you, I'll, tell you why, I'll tell you why it is. I'll tell you why it is. Because we've got to do more than win. It's not simply enough to win. There is, there's, there's some fundamental changes that need to occur. There are some things that need to happen within our party to really reinvigorate it. And I think renewal is the key word. I think it will be the ballot question. And I think people are fundamentally looking for somebody who's driven not, not by, by a motive of power. And I'm not saying any of the other candidates are, but I think when you take a look at Gerard and you take a look at somebody who started Canada's first food bank in Edmonton, you don't start a food bank because your ambition is power. You start a food bank because you want to make a difference. When he was Minister of Education, he brought together a very uh, very disparate sides. Took about 70 years worth of strife in education and was able to find peace. Um, this is somebody who, uh, who, who's who got a tremendous amount of passion and has shown and again and again the ability to bring together and his loyalty to the party. But you know, this is somebody in 1996 who lost and yet stayed on in opposition, stayed loyal to the Premier and made sure in opposition he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very guys we now see, the forces of darkness, Flaherty and, and uh, Clement and, and, and folks like that who are with the Harris government, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, took them down in Ontario and we can do it again. Okay,